And Father, we're here this morning because we believe your word. We confess Jesus as Lord this morning and that he is the Son of God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. That he lived, suffered, and died on a hill called Calvary. Mm -hmm. And on that cross we heard him cry out, Father, mm -hmm. forgive them for they know not what they do. And Lord, we thank you that your mercy triumphs over judgment. Father, thank you for those that are gathered here this morning. Oh God, though we're few in number, yes, but your praise go forth in the highest. Yes, yes. Father, we lift our voices together to sing your praise because you're worthy, oh God. Yes, Lord. Lord, you're worthy to be yes, praised. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Father, we thank you for those that have been affected by COVID. But yet, you brought them through. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you. Lord, you delivered, you healed, yes. and gave so much relief. Yes. And oh God, we pray for those that are sitting at home right now. Yes. Those that are viewing the website. Father, give them the courage to stand on your word. Because your word is true. Your word is powerful, yes. and it will not come back void. Lord, we thank you this morning for St. Frederick. Thank you, Lord thank Jesus. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for our deacon. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you for the missionaries. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes. Evangelists. Yes. Thank you for every member here this morning. Thank you, Lord. And, oh, God, we thank you for our pastor this morning. Yes, Lord. Thank you that you chose him a man of meekness yes, yes, yes. and humbleness. Yes, yes. But yet he's diligent and fearless in pursuing your word and your will. Yes, yes. Father, give him strength where he's, torn, where he's weak. Yes. Yes. Build him up where he's torn down. Yes, Thank you for delivering his family, Thank you, Lord. oh God. Uh -huh. And oh God, we want to thank you because we're here this morning. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Realizing that it wasn't by our own goodness, but by your goodness, oh God. Mm. And Lord, we praise your name this morning. Praise your name, praise your name. May your spirit of praise just be with us this morning. Yes, Lord. Yeah. As we give thanks, glory, and praise to your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 One more time, y'all. Amen. 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 Lord, thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory. I know that's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
somebody, any of y'all, but I can't find nobody that would direct my path in the way it need to go mm. other than my father. That's right, that's right, that's right. Amen. See, he's the one that he will, he will take me out to the end of that cliff. And he said, look at all of that view. And then he will grab me and bring me right back so that I don't fall over. Mm -hmm. Satan will take you out there and push you. <laughs> push you off. He like to give you a son. Oh, yeah. 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 But yeah. our father won't. Yeah. Oh, brother, I ain't going to say our father. I'm going to say my father. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know who you claim it as well. your father. Mm -hmm. But I know my father. Will not leave me. He'll always got me. Yeah. I, I I want to say I, I, I I'm happy that I, I, I was in the back doing something and y'all carried on. I, I'm 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 happy. I'm not here to keep on. <laughs> I always say one man don't run no show. Okay. This is our fathers. Yes, and he's the boss. Amen. Amen. But I, I wanted to get up right after because I did want it to say on the 5th of next month, 1 o'clock, uh, we will have our church business meeting. I have some stuff, very simple stuff laid out that we're going to uh, begin to work on it. It's not a whole lot. Uh, if you want your little input in, we ask you to be here at uh, 1 o'clock. Uh, if, if you don't, want your little two cents in there, then it, it's going to go as I have it written down. And that's according to my father's wishes. So we, we're going to ask on the 5th, uh, which is a Saturday at 1 o'clock, uh, give us time to get done with mission outreach and get cleaned up. And uh, we will have, uh, it's already lined out, laid out, and my prayer is that it's going to be a good short meeting. Um, that we could have so that we can get our calendar year going. Amen. But now it's time for tithes and offering. This is an offering that we use to keep our father's house in order. You know, our father's house is within this bearing land. Uh, and the folks around here says, if you want something from me, I, I, I need a dollar or two. You know, PEC, don't give us lights for free. <laughs> Atmos Gas ain't give us the gas to heat up for free. So we need to have the tithes and offering in order to keep our Father's house in order. Uh -oh. We all want good things in our house. Mm -hmm. And our Father wants good things in His house for you. Because we need to realize and understand that everything we got belongs to Him. Uh, uh, look at that dollar bill. Look at that five dollar bill. Look at them coins. It said in God we trust. He owns it all. He gives it to you and all he asks of is 10% to keep his house going. That's all he's asking. Amen. Deep, you have a word? Well, I just thank the Lord for being there. Amen. Amen. We ask that 
you open your Bibles to Malachi, the third chapter. We're going to read the eighth through the twelfth verse. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of us know it by heart, but I wanted to say it for those who may be at home. I, I don't want you to be lost. Uh, I, and as I always say, dust off the Bibles. Open them up and read it for thyself. Malachi, third chapter. We're going to read the 8th through the 12th verse. May we read together. Will a man rob God? Yet he hath robbed me. But ye say, Wherein have he robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. You are cursed with a curse, for he hath robbed me. Even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove we now wherewith, said the Lord of hosts, if I would not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there should not be room enough to receive it. Amen. I may have turned in the hands of the deacon. I'll finish the usher. Oh, I can say, usher deacon. Give, give, give. Give it in Jesus' name. Give, give, give. Give it in Jesus' name. Give, give, give. Give it in Jesus' name. And the Lord will give it back to you. You don't have but a dollar, give it in Jesus' name. If you don't have but a dollar, give it in Jesus' name. You don't have but a dollar, give it in Jesus' name. And the Lord will give it back to you. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this offering. Thank you for the ones that had to give, the ones that had not. We ask you to bless us. This and our other blessings. We ask the name of thy son, Jesus. Amen. 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 Our God. Is an awesome God, he reigns from heaven above with wisdom. Oh, 
before you had it all beautiful you. So maybe we can have a little praise service after I get through. Amen. Amen. I think that would be pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Then try to hurry to get back home. No. <laughs> Yeah, we thank the Lord for another day that He spared us. Yes, with everything that's going on and we've been through, mm -hmm. God has brought us through. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. God has kept us safe. Although some of us did come down with the old COVID, mm -hmm. but we know God is still in control. Yes. 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 Thank you. He's going to control this COVID. Yes. Yes. One you. way or another, yes. He's going to control it. So we give God all the praise and all the glory. Yeah. I feel that he deserves all of us. Yes, he does. Yes. We don't deserve now, but God deserves all of us. Yes, Although we do get taxed on our back sometimes, yeah. we can give God an animal too. Yes. 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 We're going to come from Mark, the 10th chapter, starting in verse 17 and go to verse 22. And maybe I'll stand for the reading of the scripture. And I'm reading from the, the end of the, I'm going to see which one I'm reading that of. This is not the King James. And as he was sitting out on, as he was sitting out on his journey, a man ran up and kneeled before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Mm -hmm. And Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? Right. No one is good but God alone. Mm -hmm. You know the commandment, do not kill, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not bear false witness, do not defraud, honor your father and mother. Mm -hmm. And he said to him, Teacher, all these I have observed from my youth. Yeah. And Jesus looking upon him, loved him, and said to him, You lack one thing. Go, mm -hmm. sell what you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come follow me. At that saying, his captain fell, and he went away sorrowful, for he had great possession. As my topic is going to be, is the cost too high? All right. Amen. Amen. This young man felt like he was. Mm. Have you ever went into a supermarket or a department store and you know exactly what you wanted when you went in there? Mm -hmm. After you got in there, you looked at the price and you said, it costs too much. <laughs> <laughs> so you either had a choice, you either going to walk away or you're going to yield to the temptation and you're going to buy that particular thing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This young man wants to know how can he Get eternal, inherit eternal life. Mm -hmm. The scripture said he kept running to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now down before him. That lets us know he was truly serious. Yes, he was. Serious at first about inheriting eternal life. Mm -hmm. He ran to Jesus. And he kneeled down before him in respect. Want to know what does I do to have eternal life? Mm -hmm. He even went a little further and called him good master. Mm -hmm. Good enough, like he was piling up on there. He was really laying a stick. Yes, he was. Good master. And we read in Matthew, Matthew said, he said, what good thing mm -hmm. must I do to inherit eternal That's right. life? That's right. And you know that nothing we can do, <coughs> nothing we can do to pay for eternal life. Amen. No good thing we can do to have Amen. eternal life. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. Oh, yes. Whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Mm -hmm. and we gotta have some belief in there. Yeah. yeah. We don't we don't we don't work, we don't we don't do good work to be saved. We do work because we are saved. That's right. Hey, right. This doesn't matter whether it's some good thing, some yeah. fantastic thing. Mm -hmm. I believe there's another man in the Bible that he was sick, and he, Naaman, mm -hmm. that was Naaman, mm -hmm. yeah. and he wanted to be healed. Mm -hmm. And God told him to go dip in, I mean, the, the, the prophet said to go dip in the muddy Jordan. Right, right, right. He mm -hmm. wanted to do some great thing. Yeah. He won't go dip in that old muddy, dirty Amen. water. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But 
after he did what he's supposed to do, he became clean. Yeah. Right? So a lot of times people want to do great things in life. Yeah, yeah. Great things to, to, to get God's favor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. But I'm not looking at all that. <laughs> he's not right. looking at that. Amen. And the young when, when the young man asked him, what must he do to have eternal life? And Jesus was telling about the commandments. Mm -hmm. <coughs> He's named out six commandments. Mm -hmm. And all those commandments have something to do with relationships to mm -hmm. other people. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. How we mm -hmm. treat other people. Mm -hmm. That's right. Did he honor his father and mother? Did he commit adultery? He said all these things he did from his youth up. <coughs> he didn't commit adultery. Right. That means he didn't look at a woman to lust after her. Amen. He did not steal nothing. He didn't take nothing that didn't belong to him. Well. <coughs> he honored his father and his mother. And he didn't he did kill. He didn't murder. He did he did all the things that God, that Jesus Christ was talking about. Amen. But you know, a lot of times we may say we do all these things. Yeah. We don't do those things. But then sometimes we end up doing worse. Amen. Amen. We go the other Amen. route and do something different. Mm -hmm. But the Bible said Jesus just looked up on him with love. Mm -hmm. Looked up on him with compassion. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus knows our thoughts. He knows what we're going to do Amen. before Amen. we Amen. do it. You know, we're going to thank you before we thank what we're going to say before we say it. Now, Jesus knew this young man was not going to accept what he said to him. So the young man was wealthy. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine God telling us to give up everything we have and sell oh, to the poor and follow him? Mm -hmm. Some of us have problems with that. I know I would. I like my, my, my pillow under my head at night. I like to have the roof over my head. Yeah, yeah, Jesus already yeah. said, foxes have holes and birds have nests. Yeah. The son of man has no water oh, in his head. Yeah. And Jesus tell this young man, sell all you got. One mm -hmm. thing you lack. Mm -hmm. Sell mm -hmm. all you got and mm -hmm. get to the point. Now he want to do some good thing. That was a good thing to do. Uh -huh. Tell all you have to give to the poor. Then follow me. Well, you have treasure in heaven. Then follow me. Mm -hmm. Wherever Jesus put this man, you don't have to go. Wherever Jesus mm -hmm. lay his head, this man have to lay his head. <coughs> Whatever Jesus said, this man don't have to eat. You know that young man was eating high on the hog. Uh -huh. You know he wasn't even born fish what? every day. <laughs> Come on, but anyway, the young man, when he heard what Jesus had to say, the Bible said he was sorrowful in his heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. He had great possessions. You know we don't want to give up too much nowadays. Amen. Lord Jesus. We want to hold on to what we got. Yeah. Lord Jesus. What did that old, uh, all these songs that hold on to what you got? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We want to hold on to what we got. We yes, don't want to give we don't want to give it up. No, 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 no. Yeah. We don't, we really don't want to. We didn't have a problem with it if Jesus was asked us to give up everything we got. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. give to the poor. Reach it. me poor, Lord. Mm -hmm. I know we need our money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'll be poor. And who's going to take care of me? Jesus will take care of me. Jesus! But that ain't the way the young man wanted. The young man had great possessions. He was yep. a wealthy man. Yes, he but when he heard what Jesus had to say, the cost was a little bit too high. Ah. <laughs> he did not want to give up anything. Oh. But yet Come still, on. he said he had a good relationship with other people. Come mm -hmm. on, this is boy. But yet and still, Reach he did not want to give it up. Reach it. And we don't want to give it up. Reach it. We want to hold on to the last of the even break a little thing there, holding on. <laughs> and not let it go. We like a good meal every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like all the things that life has to offer. Although we don't have all the things life has to offer, but we still would love to have them. Mm -hmm. This young man was right. not about to get poor. Yeah. He was not about to get poor. Mm -hmm. This is Lord. So yes, follow man. after Jesus. He wasn't going to do it. Ooh, yes, yes, man. Now remember when we make these promises to God? Yeah. Remember we got to hold on to the Bible. The Bible says it's better not to make a vow than to make one of your own. Preach it! That's right. But we got to make sure that we hold on. Yeah. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Whatever well, God has uh, us to do, whatever uh, He has us to do, He's yeah. not going to let us suffer. That's right. That's He's right. not going to let us go without. That's right. He's going to make sure we have everything that we need. Yeah. Everything that we need. And he's yes, not going to let us suffer. We got 
God will be able to that. Yes, he does. God don't take care of his own. Yes, he is. Uh -huh. That man wasn't looking at it that way. No, he, he looked at his possessions. And his possessions meant more to him than eternal life. Yeah. It meant more to him. Lord so have how bad do we want eternal life? I know God's not going to ask us to give up that thing that we have. I don't believe he is. Mm. Uh, we know we're not going to be like this young man. Yeah. We walk away sorrowful. We drop our head and walk uh, away sorrowful. Uh, uh. And forget all about eternal life. Forget all about the poor. Forget all about them. But remember, God is in control. Yes. Amen. God is in control of our life. Yes. He's going to make sure we have everything that we need. Yes, he will. If he, he will. did ask us to give up, what would we willing to give up? Mm -hmm. But we just think back. Oh, just think. Oh, what am I willing to give up mm -hmm. for the sake of Christ? What am I willing to give up? Mm -hmm. Like I told you, I won't be before you very long, but it's a cost too high. That's right, that's right. A bit too high. Preach it, sister. Preach it. Too high for him. Mm -hmm. and he Preach it. Very get soft get in his get heart. Yes, he Thank y'all for listening. I know it wasn't very long, but it was good. Amen. Thank y'all for listening. Amen. Can't nobody do me like Jesus can't nobody do me like the Lord can't nobody do me like Jesus
and take for granted what he's done for us. I thank him each and every day. Lord, I can't thank him enough. If you're here this morning and you haven't realized the cost, you ought to come this morning. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad if you hear. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. If you look in I'm so glad. And you're doing this broadcast right now. That was paid for you. It was Jesus. 